Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share the Maryland series of cos inverse x. As usual, we let fx be equal to the function which is cos inverse x. At point x is equal to 0, cos inverse 0 is equal to 90 degree, which is pi over 2 in terms of radian. Let's differentiate the function f with respect to x, and we should obtain negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared which can be written as negative times 1 minus x squared to the power of negative 1 over 2. Instead of differentiating further, let's apply the binomial theorem. By comparing, we have a is equal to negative x squared while n is equal to negative 1 over 2. Let's express the first derivative of the function f by using the binomial theorem. So we should have negative multiply 1 plus negative 1 over 2 times negative negative x squared plus negative 1 over 2 times negative 1 over 2 minus 1 divided by 2 factorial times negative x squared the whole thing squared plus negative 1 over 2 times negative 1 over 2 minus 1 times negative 1 over 2 minus 2 divided by 3 factorial times negative x squared to the power of 3 plus negative 1 over 2 times negative 1 over 2 minus 1 times negative 1 over 2 minus 2 times negative negative 1 over 2 minus 3 divided by 4 factorial times negative x squared to the power 4 and so on. And this is equal to negative multiplying 1. Negative negative becomes positive. So we have positive 1 over 2 x squared. For the third term, we have negative 1 over 2 times negative 1 over 2 minus 1 and divided by 2 factorial. And we should times negative x squared to the power 2. Let's treat the variable x as 1. So we should input as negative 1 square the whole thing square press equal we should obtain positive 3 over 8 let's write positive 3 over 8 and we have x squared to the power 2 which is x to the power of 4 and now continue to the next term we don't have to re-enter all over again but we can compare with the previous term and there are only those extra when we compare we should notice that this is extra and for the denominator 3 factorial which is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 and for 2 factorial is 1 times 2 which means that the extra term is 3 on the other hand for negative x squared square is equal to negative x square times negative x square for negative x square cube is equal to negative x square times negative x square times another negative x square so which means that the extra term is negative x square so we should take the answer multiplying bracket negative 1 over 2 minus 2 for denominator which means that we should divide so we divide 3 and have extra minus x square and we should treat x as 1 as spoken just now so we times bracket negative 1 square close bracket and press equal we should obtain positive 5 over 16 square to the power of 3 is simply to the power of 6 and now proceed to the fifth term again answer and we times those extra term for this case we should have negative 1 over 2 minus 3 divided by 4 and times negative 1 square press equal we obtain positive 35 divided by 128 times x to the power of 2 to the power of 4 which is to the power of 8 and so on so we should have negative 1 minus 1 over 2 x squared minus 3 over 8 x to the power of 4 minus 5 over 16 x to the power of 6 minus 35 divided by 128 x to the power of 8 and so on. We have obtained the Maryland series of the first derivative, but what we need here is the function f, which is cos inverse x. We know that when we differentiate cos inverse x with respect to x, we obtain the first derivative with this Maryland series, which means that if we integrate with respect to x for both sides, we should obtain the function cos inverse x. Since integrate differentiate cancel each other, dx cancel with dx so we left only cos inverse x and now let's integrate the right hand side so integrate negative 1 we obtain negative x integrate 1 over 2x square we should have 
power plus 1 divided by power plus 1. And so, for the rest of the terms, and lastly, add the constant term. To determine the constant, very simple, refer to the value of cos inverse x at point x is equal to 0, which is equal to pi over 2. So, which means that instead of writing the constant c, we can write pi over 2. Lastly, let's simplify and we shall obtain pi over 2 minus x minus 1 over 6 x cubed minus 3 over 40 x to the power 5 minus 5 over 112 times x to the power 7 minus 35 divided by 1152 times x to the power 9 and so on. And hence, we're done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.